sorry guys. <laughs> Our boy is French. Yeah. <laughs> well, chow is high, so we're very Italian. We're just gonna say chow. <laughs> Let's see the Jordans. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. All the details. I got the details. I got the details. You see that blue? Okay. That blue pop. That's right. Yeah, that blue going pop. Looking icy. These the ices? No, not the ISIS. Not the ISIS. No, no, let's try again. <laughs> let's try again. Let's try again. They're nice. Okay, hey. Ooh. Okay. Someone's gonna look fresh in Italy. That's right. And Morocco. Where are you gonna wear them? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them. Oh, oh. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. So it is travel day and we are getting ready to go. Finally <laughs> getting the heck up out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh lordy. Someone's ready to go. Um, I'm ready to go too. But we are headed to Rome, Italy today. And as you can see, we're very, very excited. Um, we are also going to Morocco, um, Marrakesh. So we're really excited about that as well. And yeah, we're just gonna take you guys along on the uh, one week trip that we're going to be on. Um, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment below, and we'll chat soon. So right now we are waiting on the Uber to come. And um, after that, we are going to be heading to the airport. Our flight is at 10.50, so we are trying to get there early. And if you're Nigerian or have Nigerian parents, you know that Nigerian parents will get you there at like 3 a.m. for the flight that's at 10. You will be there before the pilot even gets there. <laughs> it's literally my mother, but we're trying to get on that level. So we're gonna head to the airport now in the Uber and then check in, all that good stuff. And then from there, hopefully I'll be able to chat with y'all a little bit. Um, and next we will be on our way out to Rome. <laughs> What's up y'all, we're on the way. We are on the way.
so we have made it to our hotel as you can see from the prior clips um man what a trip it took us nine hours well probably ten and a half hours to get here to um rome so we are excited to be here we literally came back and knocked out like we took a very long nap and it was really really good because you know we didn't sleep as well as we would have wanted to on the plane but it's fine we're here now and it's all swell and dandy okay but anywho um we're about to actually go to this fountain near um our hotel that's beautiful and take a picture one time for the gram and then of course for memories um uh, and then we're gonna go get um pcr covid19 tested um as well as look for one of the best pizza spots in the area so we're really excited about that um but boy do we have a story to tell y'all um and we will share more about that at the end of this video um just because you know we want to you know keep it positive for now well not for now but keep it positive while we're on vacation okay so at the end we will share with y'all what happened in dallas it was super crazy wasn't wasn't cool um but god stepped in and we're here now so we're super grateful um but anywho i'll check in with y'all soon and yeah jam-packed day today um we are on our way to our final dinner in rome before we go to marrakesh morocco uh tomorrow so we're about to go out to eat we are jet lagged <laughs> but we had a very packed and fun-filled day um just with lots of different things going on we went to the vatican and we went to the sistine um what is it babe what is it sistine Sistine Chapel um, and it was beautiful obviously you saw the clip so it was like just beautiful just to see all of the wonderful art and a lot of it was done by Michelangelo so I think that's a familiar name that we've all kind of heard um, and then we went to um, this thing called um, Ma Maritime Prison Manor Time Maritime Maritime I think so 
Mamertine, Mamertine prison where supposedly Peter and Paul were in prison there. That's where they were kept um, when they were in Rome. Um, so that was interesting, but quite a rip off because we literally just walked down. We're like, oh, this is it. Okay. But it was still nice to get the experience. Just kind of, you know, see where they were supposedly kept and things like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then we just kind of, you know, explored, um, got to take some pictures by this, like, what is it called, babe? That place, that area that was next to the prison. Yeah, the forum, the Roman forum. Yeah, we got to the Roman forum. Oh yeah, we went to the, um, the, where is that place, the fountain we went to? The Trevi, Trevi. We went to, this boy's laughing at me. We went to the Trevi um, earlier in the morning, got some photos, as you can see here. Um, and then, um, yeah, we just had a, a packed day, really. We're exhausted, but we're gonna get this dinner in. Oh, yeah, we went shopping at Zara, duh. Babe took me on a shopping spree trip. It was wonderful. Spent all his coins. <laughs> um, had I known he was gonna pay, I would've grabbed more stuff, but it's okay. Um, but for the most part, today was really good. Um, it was kind of chilly, so I was like just really struggling to, you know, stay warm, but for the most part, I'm doing good. And yeah, I think that's all like update wise. Um, I'm struggling with like the food here. I really wanna like it, but it's so different <laughs> than what I expected it to be that it's kind of like throwing me off really badly. Like for example, margarita pizza is basically the equivalent of cheese pizza in America. And for me, I'm thinking margarita pizza is like the one with basil, mozzarella, the tomato, cherry tomato stuff. No, no. Like, and then I ordered salmon yesterday, and apparently the salmon, they don't fully cook it here because that's not how they do, and it was like, kind of raw. And I'm like, okay, well, I want a sushi, I would have said I want a sushi, but, you know, it's okay. I appreciate culture, I respect culture, and I'm just like, you know, hey, I'm here for a uh, visit, and I'm here as a guest, so I'm just going to, you know, go with the house rules. But for the most part, it's beautiful. Rome is beautiful, and I 10 out of 10 recommend coming here if you're interested in the history of it and just the monumental places that are here. We did catch a glimpse of the Colosseum, so it was pretty. We did not go all the way there because we just, you know, we didn't have it in us. But for the most part, um, very beautiful uh, experience overall. And we're going to head out to, to dinner before we are late, and we will take you guys along. Okay, y'all, plans changed. So... Listen, let me just tell you real quick, okay? I'm gonna be very honest with y'all. I'm gonna keep it real, you know I can keep it real on this channel, okay? So, we went to the restaurant and we we're about to go to our reservation, you know, on the rooftop, all cute and whatever. And they were like, let's see your green card. Your green card is basically your vaccination card. So we pull our vaccination cards out because you know we're both vaccinated. And they're like, oh no, you can't go up. And we're like, wait, what do you mean? They're like, you don't have your booster shot. Child, they, oh, this is a loud car, hold on. So they proceed to like call the manager and like get it triple checked and double checked. And she's like, yeah, no, you can't go up. Like even if you got like Johnson & Johnson, like you should have your booster card. You should have your booster by now. Like you should have your second or third shot. I'm like, what, what in the world? Like, so long story short, we couldn't go because we didn't have our boosters. You guys is booster shot, but I don't. So for me, it's just kind of like, it's it's a mess. But um, yeah, all that to say, honestly, if you don't have your vaccine, like, like if you didn't get your vaccine, travel will probably look like a mess. Um, I would recommend like very, very thorough research of wherever you're going before you even get there because they will turn you around at the airport. They will turn you around if you get to the place you want to go to and want to enjoy like, yeah, you're just gonna have a hard time. So I would definitely recommend getting it because, well, if you wanna travel, <laughs> I would recommend getting it because the harassment is too much. It is too much. And I, I get it, you know, where we just came out of a pandemonium and people don't wanna go back to it, but like, it's rough. So that's just my word of, you know, encouragement and, and wisdom because it's wild out here so we're just gonna go somewhere else and cross our fingers that they're not gonna turn us away because we don't have our booster so let's let's see So 
we just left the restaurant. How was the food, babe? It was great. It was actually yeah. really good. I would recommend going there. Yeah. Um, I think it was called Nere. Nere. Um, if not, then I'll put the name right here. But I got the Cacio de Pepe, and our uh, waiter was really good. Uh, they did not kick us out. Because <laughs> you know how that went last time with, you know, having no uh, receipt of booster. But for the most part, um, it was really good. Finally had something in Rome that I really enjoyed, and we got um, this tiramisu, tiramisu, yes, tiramisu um, pistachio, and it was yummy. So now we are just headed back to the hotel. We do need to um, print out some documents for our trip to Morocco tomorrow morning. We have a very early flight. The flight is at 6.35 a.m. So we will have to be leaving the hotel at 4 a.m. So yeah, kind of brutal. But we're excited and um, we're just headed home back to uh-oh, okay. We're headed home back to, not home, but we're headed back to the hotel right now. And that's basically it. That basically concludes our Rome trip um, for the most part. Um, I think two days, two days was enough. What do you think? Yeah, not I think two days was enough. I think that, what else would I have wanted to really see or do? I think I'm good. Two days was cool. Two days was cool, yeah, and I feel like for some strange reason, like places just kept being closed. It was just like, we'd pull up and it's like, oh, they're closed. <laughs> At a point I was like, bruh, <laughs> is anything open? But- On Monday? On a Monday? Like on a Monday, y'all? they don't open their first. Bro. On Monday, in fact, just forget it. You eat, eat, eat at home, just stay home. Because everything was closed. Like, all the pizza shops were closed. It was kind of like a tragedy for us because we were like so excited and then <laughs> all the restaurants were closed. So we ate at our hotel, which wasn't, you know, the best, but, um, but yeah. So we are definitely looking forward to Morocco. I'm probably going to end this vlog at Rome and then do a Morocco vlog, just so you guys can have like two parts because this is probably gonna be a really long video anyways. So yeah, um, if this is the last you see of me, just know that um, I guess I'll be recording the Morocco vlog soon and that should be up as well very soon. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, anything else you'd wanna add, babe, in terms of Rome? I mean, I guess we can just throw in some like last minute pointers, like if you wanna visit Rome, yeah. What are some things that you should think about, um, consider, just real quick? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, Any thoughts? Let me think. A lot of the I Ubers mean, are Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. I would say just have an open mind, be flexible. Yeah. With your expectation yeah. of the place and I mean, enjoy the culture. Yeah the architecture yeah take it in that's true um, I mean there's not a lot of architecture like this in the world that's true today so uh, but otherwise when in Rome do as the Romans do when in Rome do as the Romans do <laughs> um, yeah so if you want to travel to Rome like I said just make sure those vaccinations are up to date boosters are up to date because there are a lot of a lot of obstacles yeah, definitely that lots of obstacles man yeah. um but nonetheless if you have any questions feel free to comment below and hopefully this video was helpful if you're considering going to rome um i'm also going to be making a blog post so make sure to check that out i will link it in my description bar below so feel free to see more on rome in i guess written version and i'll also have all links there as well um but anywho I will talk to you guys later, um, and I will see y'all in Morocco. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. Is that how you say bye? <laughs> nah, that's French, babe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Au revoir is French. Yeah. <laughs> well, ciao is high, so we're, we're Italian. We're just gonna say ciao. <laughs> bye, y'all.